Hey everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Passion. We normally don't do unboxing here on the channel, but I got this Blue Lab uh, Leap pH probe from a survey I did for Blue Lab a little while ago, and we decided to put it to use, but we had to get the combo meter. So I'm going to open these both up and we can see what I got going on here. Now the reason we decided to do this is I want to be able to do, monitor my beta buckets a little bit better to see what the output is. You know, we monitor it right where the nutrient tanks are and when it goes into the beta buckets, but I want to see what the output is. And I also want to use it in the strawberries and, of course, my flowers. So here's the leap probe and pretty handy dandy little thing. It's got the, um, in the solution, you know, when you have a um, pH meter, you have to keep it in solution. You have to keep it wet. So it's got the little case on here to keep it wet and it's got the little probe part that goes into this meter here I'm assuming and I think this is for when you use it in the soil you uh, push it into the soil so then you can put the uh, probe down into it without damaging it so of course you got directions here that'll make Doug read so there's the probe now here's the meter so it says it's a combo meter Let's see what this looks like in here oh comes with batteries that's a good thing as I drop them and it looks like it comes with another probe. So I get this out of here without wrecking anything. Oh, yep. So it's got an extra pH probe. Those are always handy to have on time because, you know, pH probes don't last that long, usually about a year. So I'm always changing those out. So you want to make sure you keep those in good working order because then your nutrient solution won't be right. So here is the combo meter. And so it has the um, EC probe with it here. And then here is the um, part that you're going to hook the uh, pH probe onto. And it has this display here, and it also does temperature. So, and more instructions to read, which I'll have to go through. And I bet you they gave me some calibrating solution. Yep, got the pH 7.0 and the 4.0. So calibrate, calibrate your pH meter. That's something you must do once a month. Otherwise, the probe can go off and your whole nutrient system can go off. And I learned that mistake years ago. So every time the little lights start blinking, I go ahead and make sure I uh, calibrate the two of them. So I'm really looking forward to using all this new technology in the greenhouse. You know, things are growing really well now, but you can always improve and keep things growing better. There's always things that you need to look for and make sure you keep uh, proactive and not reactive everything. So stay tuned to me doing some stuff with this uh, this coming winter. And I hope you guys like our channel. And like always, leave me questions, comments, or suggestions down below. We'll see you next time.